Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaltout. Today we are going to explain how to create an e-commerce product model with price and discount. This is a concept we are going to use today. This concept will calculate the price according to discount for a period of time automatically. We will focus in this tutorial on creating the model only. If you want to learn more about the Laravel localization and its middleware and categories model, please check the previous uh, series of videos to learn more. Um, so as you can see, here is my article on my website, ahmedshaltu.com. Uh, I always update my website before uh, my YouTube channel. So if you like to read, here is the article, you will find it and you will find all the, the steps and code inside it. And you can make it as a reference for you. Uh, now we are going to uh, apply all the, the steps in this article in this video today. So let's get started. As you can see, this is a migration uh, of uh, products table. Uh, this is for store the product data in multi language such as Arabic and English. Um, and we have another table uh, called the uh, product reference for storing the shared data such as price, discount, and image. Uh, this table actually you can think it is a middle table between all the translations. Okay, here our product controller is normal. We have a request to I use form request of Laravel. Um, just to build the data. It's all normal. Uh, nothing new about it. So we can find it here. Here all the form requests. Plus, uh, this is our uh, authorization check treat we have made in uh, in uh, video before um, so here here this is the request we get nothing new just to get all the data uh, if it's uh, for product or product reference all in same in same thing here okay let's open our product uh, model as you can see here as all the functions we have made and the ref function for getting the shared data from the, refer the product reference table. And we use the ref ID and here is uh, our product reference as a function or a custom attribute for getting the name from uh, the, uh, or the, uh, the app language. Um, we can use it in, uh, in admin dashboard or something like that. So we needed to create a function for creating um, or for check the discount. Uh, here we have uh, some columns in our uh, product uh, reference attribute. We have uh, price and discount and the discount start and discount end. So let's create our first custom uh, attribute and we will name it has discount. Okay. So let's create our custom attribute, public function, get has discount. As you can see, a discount attribute. Okay. Um, so the first Thing we will check if uh, the discount is not empty. So if we have a discount percentage for uh, that product, we can check period. So check. Carbon, we are using here carbon. Now, let's compare uh, now, this time now, between the discount start and discount end. So, this discount start, this discount end. 
these are dates. Um, then if uh, check, if check is true, okay, uh, return it true. Then else return false. Here return false. By default it will return false. But if the condition if the, if it has a discount as discount in uh, the discount period, it will return true. Uh, we need to create another function here, uh, price for selling. It gets the current price after the discount or the product price to sell. So let's create our uh, custom attribute price for selling here. Um, so let's say if it has discount, if this discount, if this has discount, Okay, just return uh, this price minus uh, this price by this discount, discount divided on 100. So we can take away uh, the discount percentage from the product price. Otherwise, return the product's price. So we have has discount and we have a price for selling custom attribute. Now we need to check our uh, ABI resources to see how our product will be. So we'll go to resources, product resources here. We've got everything we need for our product. Now let's go down. Yeah, here we have the price. We get the price from the product reference as well as the price uh, for selling. And do we get if it has discount through and forwards and with the discount and start and discount start and discount end and they are in date time format. It's timestamp. Here and this is uh, in Postman. Actually, I have created a product uh, for 100 the price and it got discount 20%. Here uh, in uh, discount period, it has discount actually, so it could create it everything correctly here's price and discount actually so here is another example uh, where uh, we are out of the discount period and it didn't cal calculate anything to get us the, the right price of the current uh, price for the product uh, that's all. I hope this lesson was useful for you. And uh, if you like it, please like and subscribe in, our ch in my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.